Hi guys, what's up and welcome to this week's video. So this week I will be reviewing the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds, which are Bose's latest earbuds, which were released, I believe, a few months ago. And I've been using them for a few weeks now, testing out all their features, using them in various settings, and here is my review. So firstly, let's talk about the design and shape. Bose has gotten rid of that winged tip and it provides just a simple earbud directly into your ear kind of fit, which isn't bad in any way. They still fit quite securely, but I don't think they really needed to change that design. And they are a little bit smaller than before and they still provide a pretty good and secure fit. However, I do slightly prefer the older design because it just provided that slightly more secure fit. And I know that a lot of people that I spoke to also preferred that winged tip design. Not that these are bad in any way, they still fit pretty snug and go straight into your ear sometimes they do slightly go out of your place for example when i was at the gym i did feel like i had to readjust them maybe once or twice it's not the end of the world but i don't know i just feel like they didn't need to change it and i quite liked that previous design also straight out of the box when i put them in and i wore them for a couple of hours i did notice my ears started to hurt a little bit but after a couple of weeks my ears actually got used to wearing those earbuds in that way that those parts didn't hurt anymore so like the earbuds changed, the case also has changed. Again, I preferred the older case. I like that flat kind of, you know, you just put the earbuds in and that's just personal preference. Also, I've noticed that I dropped this case a lot more, maybe because of the smooth rounded edges and it's just not very holding friendly. I don't know how to explain that, but um, I just liked the previous one before. This isn't bad either. It's not a deal breaker in any way. If you hold it properly, it won't fall. So now let's talk about the sound quality. So these earphones are probably some of the best earphones that I've used. The bass is really good. I mean, it's not like mind blowing, but it is really good. The clarity is also pretty amazing. And compared to its predecessor, the sound is just more heavy hitting and grungier and just has a richer tone. So listening to music on these earphones is very enjoyable. And I did compare them to the previous model and you can tell there is a clear difference. This sound is richer. It's nicer to listen to. There's more clarity. It's more high definition. Also, if you put it on the bass boosted mode, the bass is really good. Also, what's great is you can go on the Bose app and you have a bunch of presets of the equalizer that you can choose from. So, for example, bass boosted, you want a bit more treble, and you can also, if those presets don't suit you, you can adjust the individual equalizer thing. So, if you want the bass up just a little, treble down just a little. Other than that, the volume doesn't go any higher than before. I know a lot of people previously wanted them to go a bit higher. I think even on the loudest volume, that's enough volume for me. I never actually take it to the loudest, it's slightly below that but it would be nice to have them a bit louder for maybe some people who require that. I've also taken quite a few phone calls with these earphones in and honestly the sound is clearer than listening to you know somebody over the phone um, and also when I spoke to them they said that they could hear me quite clearly as well and I know they have a mic. Some people haven't found it amazing but mine actually works quite well and I haven't had any issues with any call problems or any sound not getting through. So now let's talk about the active noise cancellation. So this is the department that both are famous for they claim that they have the world's best noise cancellation and you know what you can't argue with that too much because i have used the noise cancelling on a variety of earbuds and this is probably the best you have quiet mode and you have aware mode and aware mode basically amplifies the noise around you so you can hear everyone whilst wearing the earbuds and you have quiet mode which is the active noise cancelling and honestly it is the best out of all the earbuds that I've used so far. It cancels out all sound around you very equally and in a very balanced way. So for example, with some earbuds, you can hear high frequencies even with the noise cancellation, but this kind of cancels it out evenly. And I would say if, for example, now I can hear 100% of the noise around me, if you pop these earbuds on and you turn on the quiet mode, you can probably hear about 30 to 40% of what's around you. You can definitely get work done in slightly noisier environments. So for for example in coffee shops depending on how loud the coffee shop is if you are wearing them and somebody's standing about you know six feet away from you and talking to you you won't be able to hear them so I think that is amazing and I can see the appeal with these with people who work in offices because it does really help you get your head down get in your zone and get your work done so now let's talk about the features and controls so Bose actually don't have a lot of fancy features on this they have a select few but they all work quite well one of my personal favorites is the way that you can turn 
turn up or down the volume so it's a really cool easy slide function so if you slide it up volume goes up you slide it down volume goes down so you can access a lot of the controls just from you know tapping it a certain way or tapping on the left or holding it which I think is really useful for when you don't want to use your phone and they all work quite seamlessly but through the app they don't have a lot of extra features I would say they just have the equalizer and all the touch controls you can also use the voice assistant they also have a rating of IPX4 which means that they can withstand water splashes from any direction but this rating is quite low when you compare it to some other earbuds which have a higher IPX rating so you wouldn't be able to get away with for example them being accidentally submerged in water which is slightly disappointing because if you're paying that much for earbuds I think they should be a little bit more waterproof so finally let's talk about the battery life now again I'm slightly disappointed in this department because they only have a battery life of up to six hours and you can use the case to charge them for up to 24 hours but that isn't very high it's kind of on the lower end if I be completely honest and I have found myself charging them you know every couple of days battery runs out quite quickly and what was the point of changing the case design if you're not going to improve it I thought they might have changed it for a bigger battery or you know for it to last longer but that's not the case so my overall verdict when it comes to these earbuds is that they are pretty good earbuds they have amazing sound quality some of the best noise cancellation but there are some things that I don't like too much they do miss a couple of points here and there with the battery life the case design not being that good but overall I would say on the things that matter these headphones are pretty amazing so I would definitely recommend them if you are somebody who you know wants to use one earbuds for all so they're great for the gym they're great for if you want to get some work done in a slightly noisy environment so that's pretty much it for this week's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for weekly content I want to know your thoughts on these earbuds if you have tried them out in the comments below and I will see you in my next video so until then take care